the about $700 million Long Road Atuabo Oil and Gas Services Freeport project came into being after Parliament passed an agreement which gave Ghana a 45% ownership. The two-year first free port for Ghana was expected to be completed in 2017 to provide a one-stop oil and gas services for petroleum exploration and production activities across the Gulf of Guinea, reduce the high cost and end the difficulties of oil companies seeking services from long distances. The Atuabo Oil and Gas Free Port project was going to have a subsea fabrication base, logistics supply base, oil rig and vessel repair base, as well as a helipad, but was however resisted by five NPP members of parliament, including the MP for Takrade, Kwabena Ochidaku Mensa, MP for Efia, Joseph Kujo, and Kweku Kwatin, now with the Ministry of Finance. The five MPs who raised concerns with exclusivity clauses of the agreement, however, promised to see the project completion. We are not against it, but we feel that the clause 7 is against the GPHA law, which is Act um, PNDC Law 160, and that needs to be corrected. This project will happen, and um, we want to assure our brothers and sisters in the Atwabu area that. Uh, myself, it's my personal belief, uh, I believe is a belief of the NPP as a whole as well, that a port in the Atwabu area is necessary and we will do all we can to ensure that it happens. In addition to these promises, the Vice President, Dr. Mohamed Baumia, after winning power again in 2018 at a Kundun festival, assured the chiefs and people of Nzima of making the project a reality. It is these unfulfilled promises that the Atuabu chief and paramount chief of Eastern Nzima, Awola Amihia Panyele, says they are still waiting for its fulfillment. Sometimes it's difficult to hear some promises, uh, but we, we hope that whatever the vice president had said, uh, he's working towards it. I, I believe that our leaders, when they make promise, they keep, keep, uh, keep some. I think we should look at the special benefits of this uh, port. We are looking at the possibility of having a place that we can repair rigs, do other maintenance, which we won't do at Takradi or Tema. It's something that we don't know who would do it, but I, I believe that whoever wins this election should make it a priority and make sure that this happens within a short term. Um, I, 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 I really believe strongly because our people are always happy when we have a politician comes and use the harbor to say, oh, we'll do it. we do it. We, 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 we don't want it to be just saying we want it done and we have reserved the land for it meanwhile the mp for elembele imano amakofibua told city news they completed soil testing prior to the construction hence would begin it upon winning power it is so painful that we are sitting here talking about this project and i think that i show you the miniature that's the atomable free port this job could easily create 5,000 jobs for the team in youth. Directly? Yes. I'm not even talking about the other ancillary jobs. And what happened? We had six members of parliament from the MPP side, including the regional minister, who is supposed to lead uh, development in the Western region today. Go to court. The excitement I have is that I have talked to President Mahama, who is... God willing, the next president. And he's committed to this free port. He sees it. And how he describes it, he's saying that if we don't do it, Cote d'Ivoire will do it. We want to be the gateway. gateway of West Africa. We want the oil and gas sector. And I'm trying not to get into the oil politics. But my brother, investment in the oil industry just came to a halt under this government. Reporting for City News, Akwesi AJ Enim. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Subscribe to our City TV YouTube channel for more videos on the business dashboard. Tune in and stay updated on the key business news stories of the day with Business Dashboard every weekday at 7 p.m. only on City TV.